Hey guys, in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to check what device or devices a specific user is using. If you have any problems with today's video, feel free to join the Recon Dev Discord server. Links will be in the description. Alright, as you can see here, I already created a file, a command named devices.js. You can create whatever name you want. If you don't know what this is at all, this is a command handler. I will link, um, you should see a card pop up on the top right of the screen. And then this is the uh, module export. So I'm just going to name this devices. All right. Next, we're going to define the user. So we can define user by doing const user message.mentions.users first. Or we're going to make it message.author. So either it's going to check for the mentioned user. Let me just change first to last. All right, perfect. So uh, it's going to check for the mentioned user. And then if there's no mentioned user, we're going to take our own information. All right. So for the next step, uh, we're just going to do const. And then we can do something like presence of devices equals to user dot presence and then we can just do question mark if there is presence and then we can just do client status client status okay so if this returns false we can just put it in an object okay for the next step um we're gonna actually create an embed yeah we need to find embed over here so you can just cause embed just require oops what am i even doing new message embed Okay, so we know that exactly who we are um, taking the information from. So we can just do set alter. Okay, for name, we're just going to user tag, comma, and then user dot display avatar URL. All right, so that's for alter. Next devices, so we can just do set description, and then in here, um, we can do something like. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to do an external function. So cons description equals to this. Okay, so um, devices. Let me see what I want to do with here. Mm, okay, I think I want to do something like this cons. Um, let me just return a string devices all right and then um if devices is more than one we can do something else we can do something okay we can do something like this all right perfect perfect okay so we're actually going to check how many at once the person is logged in on so let's say He's logged in on a desktop and also a web browser. It will come up over here. If it's only using one platform, which is desktop or just mobile, it's going to come up over here. Okay, so we can just return two strings here. Um, in this case, we're going to return. Let me see. Devices. Devices. And then... um. We can make a variable over here and can do something like um, const um, entries equals to object uh, object the entries and then we can pass in uh, the devices that we defined earlier and then we can dot map value index actually we don't need index because it's just one value okay value and then we can just return oops value zero okay so we're going to take the first value all right device so let me just change it device to device and then we can just pass it entries in here entries Okay, so 
So for the next step, uh, if there is more than one device, we can do the same thing over here, devices. All right, but instead of doing just value, we're just going to do value index. And it, instead of doing this, we can return a string. Um, we can do something like uh, index plus one. And then uh, something like this. And then we can just pass in value zero. And then we can just dot join with a space every single time. All right. Um, then we can just do return and devices. You can just do a dash backslash n, and then you can pass it entries in here. So in description, we're just gonna pass in description, and we're gonna do something like this. All right. So um, lastly, after doing all of these, we need to make sure to send the message. So we can do this by doing message to channel send. Embed. All right, so let's just test this out. Okay. So let's just test this out. Oh, we can just run Y devices. Okay, so currently I'm using a desktop, so we're only showing one. Um, and then if I try to use it on my phone, so let me just pull up real quick my phone. All right. So I'm on my phone now. And then if I do Y devices, it'll show mobile and desktop. All right. So I can actually make this even a little more prettier than this. So we can do this by doing, um, just go in here and then, um, more than one um it's just gonna take this over here so let me just do this okay so let me just do this all right so to make this a little prettier we're gonna change the um the m to a capital so we can do this by doing um let me just cut this off all right and then we can do this um we can just do value dot zero so basically this is a string and then we're accessing the first character over here and then we're just going to dot two uppercase and then uh next we're just gonna add another dollar sign thing and then we're gonna do value zero and we can do dot slice one basically slicing away the uppercase letters and then it'll automatically be lowercase because by default it's already lowercase so yeah let's try this out again it should look a little better right now So let's just try this out again, see if it fixes, see if it makes it a little better. So yeah, you can see here, M is now capital, desktop is now capital. So this, uh, let me just show you some use cases for this. Um, I implemented this system inside um, the, you can use it in, you don't need to make it a separate command. You can use it in user info command. So let me just show you, this is my user info command. You can see your presence, you can just name presence, device logged in is one, device desktop. Oh, you also can do this. Let me just show you guys how to do this. Um, uh, why is it not closing? All right. So um, we're going to send a separate message in here. Message.channel.send uh, devices logged in. We're gonna just do something like this, and then next will be object. Let me just do plus object, and then the entries. Um, user. Oops, what am I even doing? Devices, 
and then dot length. If I can spell, all right. Okay, so this will show that how many devices that you're logged in. As um, as you can see in here, uh, if you want to do this, just write that line of code. This line of code over here. Devices logged in. Object entries. Devices dot length. Let's just try this out again before we end this video. Okay, so let me just go back in here. Why who? Why devices? Devices locked in one. So if I go to my phone and I try to go in here. Okay, so let me just try this again. Why devices? Okay, mobile desktop. And then devices locked in is two. All right, that should conclude today's video on the devices command. If you want to watch more videos like this, stay tuned on your end. You should see a playlist you can click on. And right, that, have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye. Stories I'm a fool for you